Okay, so, so what what are we going to do today? Are we going? To, are okay. we going to? I, I feel weird. I feel weird starting this journey without one of our nerds. I'm not really a nerd, but you guys are. Oh, you're I'm part you're, of these nerds. You're not a nerd, but we are. I can't believe he just pulled a phantom. Like this is so Bobby. How how have we not kicked him him out of the group? This. Oh, Miss Cough and Bobby, hold on. Oh, he's on. <laughs> Look at that photo. What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Look at that photo. <laughs> Bobby's photo. What was that photo? <laughs> what was that photo with the light bulb? <laughs> oh, he's on. <laughs> Look at that photo. This? What is this? <laughs> Look at that photo. Oh my God. <laughs> this is an old. It's Bobby Fawn doing the blue oh, steel. My, oh my, 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 my Skype has the damn photo with the light bulb. I forgot about, I forgot that damn photo. Deep this in is thought. Zoom. This is in Skype. That, remember, I've had this account for a long time. That looks like your MySpace picture. It's a very old picture. Welcoming everybody to the first ever, I don't know what to call this, video series that we are doing. People who are watching know nothing about who we are, but we're hoping to come into your homes and invade you <laughs> with some nerd, nerdness, and hopefully we'll garner your love and attention and you'll get to learn who we are and what we do and nerd culture, basically. So we're going to go anywhere from Pokemon openings, sports cards. Uh, there's Top some reviews. We got some Dragon Ball Z that may come into play here. Oh. We got uh, this, this picture. This picture right here. We have that. <laughs> awesome. We got that. That'll pop up. And that'll be the <laughs> theme for the remainder of the episode. But <laughs> we're going to be bringing to you movie, culture, comic books, et cetera, et cetera. So we're each going to just introduce ourselves. Um, let's go with the guru that knows a lot about all of this stuff. He's been doing it for a long period of time. So Bobby Torres, why don't you kick it off? Tell us a little bit about who yeah. you are, how you fit in this nerd culture, and how long you've been sort of collecting. I almost feel like I, I was steered at a very young age to to collect, fostered as a kid, watching cartoons, you know, watching sports events, and then finding something tangible that related to that. It became very, uh, very addictive in terms of the tangibility. I just learned more about it and kind of engulfed myself into the culture. You, you start off with just a few Pokemon cards, and then you end up with uh, a storage unit filled with, <laughs> with items. <laughs> you never forget. Uh, your hits. You never forget something that you picked up. There's always a story with everything that you collect. Just a side note, he's also a comic book writer. He's written a couple of different comic books, so if you get a chance, you could look him up. I did Oblivious uh, back in 2018. I think 2016, I did two comic books called Rapid Eye. All, it's all in this the spirit of, of creativity. The next person is de deleted. Um, from, from camera. Oh, yes, so this is Sandy Kirkman. Uh, tell us about yourself, your nerd uh, culture, and um, just how you got started. I am definitely a the probably the biggest nerd of the group. You know, I've been collecting from a very very young age, uh, precisely two months ago, <laughs> <laughs> when um, Anthony asked if I wanted to go to go to McDonald's, and and my response was why the hell do I want to go to McDonald's <laughs> and that's when I guess my love uh, for the Pokemon cards collection sort of blossom 25 year anniversary in the Happy Meal packs um, I thought we were only going to get about maybe one or two Happy Meals we ended oh. up getting like 25 26 what so many yeah, it was ridiculous that. and I think from that moment onwards I just escalated way too quickly and then within a week I had spent about 
thousand dollars on Pokemon cards. Within a month, I had spent like two, three thousand dollars and still have not bought a Charizard. So <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it took us it took us months to get a Charizard. It wasn't wow. Really took you months to get a Charizard. I still haven't got a Charizard. I think I am probably the least nerdy person in this group and I am kind of looking forward to learn. Yeah, looking forward to um, breaking some, you know, Pokemon collections and baseball, basketball collections. When she got into it, she went like, she went like head first into it. So it wasn't like, it wasn't like, oh, let me just see what you guys are doing. It was like, she went all in on Pokemon, then she went all in on basketball cards, and then she went all in on baseball cards. Now she just got her first hockey card. No <laughs> idea what she's doing. You, you skip the soccer. You skip the soccer. Oh. I mean, um, it's arriving on Thursday. I paid absolute premium on that. I think maybe five times the retail price. For myself, I'm Anthony Pizarro. Um, I, <laughs> hi. Um, <laughs> you'll see special appearances by my cat every now and then <laughs> that'll show up um for this special occasion i i brought the lost boys shirt that's my one of my favorite movies um uh, for me i've been collecting since i was really really young um but mostly comic there he is there he is there he goes film and television is really where my forte is i'm a really big nerd when it comes to that comic book culture when it comes to those type of you know, like video games as well. That's that, that's a big area of, of me. Bobby was the one that kind of like, you know, he was the one that was like, there's this like collector's thing and McDonald's. And then he got me in and he got uh, Sandy in at the same time when it came to the Pokemon. Now I'm getting really into figures like NECA, like um, Funko Pops. And so I'm collecting. So according to Bobby, I'm a nostalgia collector. You're, you're so, a big nostalgia collector. Yeah. It's, 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 it's not even... Normal. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's a, it's a lot of nostalgia, as you can see. Like it, that's that's pretty my pretty much my area. But I'm a really big nerd. Um, even though I don't, <laughs> I, I, aren't we all? And you're gonna hear us banter and argue and fight, but we all love each other, especially me and Sandy. We're gonna be fighting <laughs> a lot, but at the end of the day, we we you know we have nothing but love for each other. And um, some of us will know a lot about one thing and some of us won't know anything. So, you know, all the nerds that'll be in the comment section will probably be like, that's wrong. And you don't know what you're talking about. And that's fine because we don't know everything. And then sometimes we will know stuff that they don't know. It's about bringing that culture to life. So this whole like nerd concept and what a nerd's supposed to look like, you're definitely getting something different with us. The reality of what a nerd is, is everything. It's not just one look. It's not just one type of, of, of perception. We enjoy uh, what we do and, and we enjoy uh, just just the conversation. Most of you who see this could completely relate to some of these things. Oh, and just a just a, a just a topic of note. Sandy's also an avid surfboarder, skateboarder, surfboarder. whatever you want to say. Surfer. There you go. <laughs> and I surf yeah, too. So that's she's great. a risk taker. I'm still yeah, 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 that because I surf. jump. She has no problem jumping out of a plane, <laughs> landing into skis. Dipping down a mountain at 100 miles per hour, that's saying snowboard, snowboard, yes. Yeah. Surfer, excuse me. Yeah. And, and Anthony is not a surfer. I've seen him float, but he <laughs> I, tr I try, I do, I do. He's okay, I'm he's okay. I'm almost yeah. there. Sandy's brought some stuff. I don't know how much she's going to open. I have I have something that, I open, that I've been holding on to since forever. Bobby has some sports, some sports cards, right? That you, yeah, you I got do. some sports cards, yeah. yeah. I, can pull, I can pull something else out. Oh, okay, so you know what? Uh, so since me and Sandy both have Pokemon to open, why don't we do Bobby? Why don't we do your breaks first? I'm going to make a, an audible, right? And I was I was thinking about doing um, football, but uh, I'm going to change to baseball. I'm going to run into the to the sealed stock, and I'll be right back. The sealed stock. stock. Wow, Bobby came into my office looking for this special mini compartment to store my Pokemon cards. And there's only one place that sell it and it's called Bunnings Warehouse. I don't know where that is. I can't get it shipped to, to America. And I told him that, you know, Bunnings Warehouse is actually kind of like Home Depot, but it's based in Australia. He's like, no, pretty much like I will pay you anything. If yeah, you that, that was get me three, anything. Yeah. And, I, and I said to Bobby, I'm like, shipping could be like 300 bucks, man. He's like, I don't care. I will pay three. I'll pay yeah. four. I'll pay $500. Just get me those compartment boxes. Like, this guy's insane. Anyway, I surprised him. I got it shipped to my mother's house in Australia. Mom doesn't even know. <laughs> I just Mom came through. <laughs> I bought three boxes literally 10 minutes before this call. She sent me a picture of the receipt. Uh, she went to the post office. The lady laughed at her and said, you could buy those 
boxes anywhere in the world like why why does she need it so I had to explain to the lady while facetiming my mum to say no, <laughs> they are they are special boxes for Pokemon cats it is the perfect dimension to hold booster pack there, there's there's nothing that could possibly obstruct I was willing at some point to pay uh the mark of that worth it is that worth 60 dollars shipping is that worth it for that that, that unit <laughs> Oh yeah. Nerd! Nerd! Shout out to Bunnings Warehouse if you want to sponsor us all yeah. the way from Australia. <laughs> we, we, we wouldn't mind. Top Baseball, this 2021, the series one for this year. It's actually the first time that I've seen these tins. I don't recollect last year's uh, tab 10, but it could be wrong. It might be out there. I wasn't too big on baseball last year. Uh, but this is the 70th year um, anniversary for Tops. There is a possibility of getting a, a signature card. Is that Bellinger on the, um, who's yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Wow. All right. Look how cool this is, right? You open yeah, it I up. Some stuff. I know some stuff. Uh, nice. Well, that right there. Get that right in the heart of the tin. Okay. Let me see if I, I can get you on full screen. It's a lot of base cards. Oof. So go straight to the middle. Pass all the base. Uh, but if I see something cool, then I pull your picture rookie card right there. I like the design for this year, the New York Yankees. I, I just like the way the borders look. I and mean, this has a little bit more of a nostalgia feel to it. All right. Now we're going to get to the non-base. First hollow. Okay. It's really nice. Yeah. It's a hands down, mask up. Mookie celebrates. I think this is the, you know, 2020 in a nutshell and what we're going through. So you can see they have the COVID-19 mask. It could yeah. be something, actually. Yeah, for sure. That's yeah. historic. Oh, we got Bryce Harper, 35th anniversary card, but it's the old style baseball cards for the Phillies. You even got the... The backings, uh, you know, very similar to, to that style cards. Fractor card. Uh, that's really cool. Cool card right there. I wish it was a, a chrome card, but he's gonna be he's gonna be a serious problem uh, throughout his career as long as he stays healthy. Tatis Jr. You got there, which is pretty yeah, good. Yeah, Tatis Jr. Yep. Yeah. Any of these players? Yeah, that's Former that's MVP, a really good player. <laughs> Christian Yelp. Yeah. Potential Hall of Famer right there. You say that about everyone. And, and <laughs> open a pack. Oh, man. Pete Alonzo. Ah, yes. Rookie of the year. It, it, I mean, I, I like the the I like the way the it's it's an old school design. The cinema lights are, uh, borders around the signature. Casey Miller. Oh, ho, 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 ho. all right. Chrome. Ronald Acuna Jr. Chrome. That's some Didn't I ask for Chrome? Awesome, man. All right. I mean, we, we got to the heart of it. I mean, if I had to rate this, you know, for the price point, and I bought this, by the way, Sandy Retail. <gasps> yeah. How much, so, how much was that retail? That thing? Uh, 15 bucks. I mean, and I'm, and, I'm, and I'm rounding it off. It's probably cheaper, like $12.99. Right. How many hits did you get out of that? I mean, I didn't get an autograph. I mean, I, I had the, rep, you know, the autograph type cars, but not actual on card or, or right, take autographs. Right. I like this whole mask up thing. I, I, I don't know, like, that one's especially with this whole thing that we've been go going through for this last year, I, I, I didn't expect them to put, put something this significant to the times in a card. Right. This is definitely going to the PC uh, uh, personal collection. See, when you grade something, you know, there's a lot of purposes. People resell, people just want to keep it, you know, protected and sealed. You know, people want to uh, a grade to reflect, you know, their, their collection and how well they maintain it. This is more of a timepiece for me. So I, I, I would consider grading it just because of, of this last year. I recommend if you can find cards that can reflect how sports was played during this pandemic, I think you, you should definitely pick it up and, and store it away. Uh, seven out of 10. And I think the price point was right. I like the presentation. You, you tell me what you think in the comments. These rookie cards, especially we gotta, you know, just hold on to them. And then if their career takes off, then you know you got something really special. Yeah. I mean, some of these cards, I mean, the market for cards right now, it's so crazy, like sports cars in specific, but pretty much anything, you know, like, I mean, it's just on fire right now. You know, I think all of us, have had some you know awareness of it and 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 you know we've had peak moments where we we're collecting a lot and then we have some down moments where we're like okay we're gonna slow down all eyes are on this and a lot could have been, could have absolutely been the you know the pandemic i feel personally and when you take a pack of cars and you find something you enjoy because you had no idea that it was in that pack you end up falling in love with that feeling and and, and you just want more of it